Working in a morgue and being surrounded by corpses sure is freaky, especially if you have an incredibly fertile imagination. It wouldn't be surprising if visions of ghosts and the dead coming back to life constantly haunt you. However, some say that if you get used to it, all those scary thoughts eventually go away. But what if you get too used to working in a morgue and you get too comfortable with dead bodies and so you begin to think of them in an erotic way? Okay, people, make way for necrophilia. Necrophilia has existed centuries ago as evidenced by written texts from ancient Egypt and artifacts from other ancient civilizations. It begins when one develops sexual attraction with a corpse and then feels the need to act on such sexual urges. In 1989, psychiatrist Jonathan Rossman and Philip Resnick found out that the primary motivation for it is the idea of possessing a partner who does not resist nor reject them. Such thoughts may have crossed the mind of one female mortician named Felicity Marmaduke, who worked at a morgue in Lexington, Missouri. She was a diligent worker and a pleasant colleague, according to others. However, she began to feel sexual urges toward the male bodies brought to the morgue. Eventually, she decided to act on her desires, so she had sex with the male corpses. One time, during a late shift, Marmaduke set eyes on an attractive dead male body, so she washed the corpse on the examination table she noticed that it had a post-mortem erection. Delighted, she straddled the lifeless body and admitted that it had an orgasm. A few weeks later after the incident, Marmaduke noticed that she missed her period. She took a pregnancy test and alas, she tested positive. She consulted a physician and then admitted that she did not have sex with anybody except for the corpse. The doctor notified the authorities and Marmaduke was arrested at work later that day. Marmaduke was then held on a $250,000 bond and was charged with necrophilia and desecration of the dead. If you think that this story is too terrible or too ridiculous to be true, then be happy that you're right. This is one of those fake stories that circulate on the internet and that has long been debunked. Just imagine how sick the story would be if it was real.